and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of an ASOS unboxing haul kind of a thing. Um, I did a bit of an order and it's coming in quite a sizable box as you can see. So I thought that I would just unbox it, try everything on, let you know what I think and try and style up the pieces in a few different ways as well. Um, because I've done this kind of video before and it was really popular and I really like filming them and everything like that. So as you can see it's quite a large box so let's get going. So the first item of clothing I'm trying on are these black super skinny jeans from a brand called Waven and they're quite a few things on ASOS and it all looks really really nice stuff. I went for these black skinnies because I kind of need a new pair of black jeans. Um, as you can see they come up quite short on me, maybe a couple of inches, two and a half inches above my ankle. I am quite tall though, I'm about five foot seven, nearly five foot eight and I've got most of my height is in my legs so they wouldn't necessarily put this short on everybody and um, yeah they are super 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 skinny which is obviously a good thing but like it is really hard to bend your legs because it's like your knees are held in place a little bit but I'm sure it will give a little bit over time and if they've been washed and stuff like that and um, that being said I did go for a size 10 and I think around the waist I could have sized down like I've got quite a lot of space around the waistband but I don't know whether an 8 would have then been too tight everywhere else so I might have a bit of a think about that, try them on with a belt as well and see whether that solves it rather than going a whole size down. I'm not just, I just think they're so tight that I'm not sure I'd be able to get them on if they're a size 8. And they've got some really subtle detailing on them, they've got two patches on each knee and um, the right hand knee also has a rip but a rip through to another piece of material underneath rather than right through to your legs so it's a little bit more subtle and also better for winter rather than having really cold knees all the time um, but yeah obviously they're just a pair of black skinnies and we wear black skinnies all the time they look really good with like big oversized knits really plain t-shirts and you can also dress them up a little bit it's a good denim it's not like legging material it's thicker than that but still soft and stretchy so yeah, so far I'm really impressed with them. So the next item is one that I am already really, really, really loving. It's this long black tunic top from Monkey. Um, it's got three quarter length sleeves, comes to about mid thigh length, and it's a really light sort of chiffony material. So it's really nice and flowing and everything. As you can see, it's got a really nice high neck. Um, and it's also got this big, like you could fully open it, I won't fully open it and flash in my bra, but it does open the whole way from the top, um, like a split down the middle that then overlaps, um, yeah, so it kind of gives it loads more movement, it's like a little extra detail which makes something simple a little bit more exciting, um, as you can see at the moment I've still got it on with those waving black skinnies, but yeah, I'm definitely going to go try this on with a few other bits. So the first sort of outfit option I've gone for with this long black top is adding a long line leather jacket, it's kind of more like a leather coat really I suppose, where the hemlines match. Um, I really like matching hemlines, it's a really simple little trick to pull an outfit together and make it look really cohesive. And these hemlines match up perfectly which I'm loving. So yeah this looks really really good like this I think, I would wear this kind of every day with some boots or some trainers or even on an evening with a pair of really cool heels. So as another option I have put back on the trousers that I've been wearing today which are these really comfortable suit pants which are also from ASOS and I think these look really good with it because they're not really skinny ones, it kind of is slouchy and baggy but still smart because you're adding in a tailored piece um, and again all black in my opinion always looks really really smart yeah this look would definitely be one that I would personally wear heels with but I guess you could wear flats with it too and it would look really really cool and even more slouchy and effortless and um, definitely kind of a bit of a Scandinavian kind of feel to it too and I think you could add a blazer and almost make it look like a really relaxed suit to really relaxed two-piece if you had you know you don't have to have the exact matching blazer for black suit pants just any black blazer would work and um, but yeah i'm really liking how it, how this top looks with these trousers too so for my final 
outfit um, that I just quickly want to try on with this top. I've gone again with a more baggy look and brought out the trusty Levi um, 501s. These are vintage, you can get them new still but um, you can pick them up really cheap on eBay, vintage ones too. And what I really like about this is the fact that they're not black, even though I was just saying how great it looks with an all black outfit. But you can really um, sort of show off the split in the top a little bit more when it's not black because you've got the contrast of the two colours. So yeah, this top I think is going to be really, really versatile and are going to be a great piece coming up to Christmas because you can wear it in the evening as well as the daytime. Okay, so the next item I'd ordered is kind of similar again and it is this um, jersey kind of flared black turtle neck dress with really, really, really skinny sleeves, which I love. Um, this was really, really affordable. I think this was about £25 or something, and I'm pretty sure they have it in a few different colours too. Um, but yeah, I bought it mostly to wear over jeans, because as I said, I'm really into longer hemlines over skinny jeans. I've just got it on with the black waven trousers here. Um, it's really, really soft cotton. It's just really wearable and fun to spin and twizzle in too. So, yeah, I think, well, as I've said, I've got it to wear with jeans, but I'm thinking it would look really, really good with some over the knee boots underneath because it's quite long. Um, so, I'm just going to go try that on now and see how it looks. So, I've got the dress on now with my over the knee boots. These are a suede pair from. Ted and Muffy and I also added this coat which is from Topshop and yeah this dress is perfect for this kind of outfit because it's so simple and such a basic in your wardrobe you can wear it in loads of different ways and um, it's a great length to be worn with over the knee boots because you don't have too much skin showing so it's not too over the top but you've just got a little bit to break it all up and um, I added the coat because I wanted to add a little bit more length and also this coat's sort of a bit of a statement with all the different colour blocking going on so it's great to wear with really simple pieces like this so yeah um, I think I'm just going to try the dress on with one more outfit and see how it looks with something a little bit different for the final outfit with this turtleneck dress I've gone for something that is completely different and um, it's much lighter, not as heavy as the other ones because I have avoided any black items to go with it. Um, instead, I've got some light wash skinny ripped jeans. These are the ASOS Farley jeans and I've also gone with this tweed unstructured blazer from Isabel Morant. Um, yeah, the dress looks really, really cool under the blazer. I know I've mentioned earlier about hemlines matching, making something look really pulled together and cohesive. So I think when they don't match, it gives you a much more slouchy and maybe effortless, even though I've just spent like five, 10 minutes trying on different options. So it's not really effortless at all, but I'm hoping it looks kind of effortless and easy. And to sort of play up on that, I think I would wear this with some black ankle boots or just some low top converse, something super simple and really casual basically. So the final item I ordered is the one that I have been the most excited about and it is this huge, amazing, big fluffy coat. This is by a brand which I believe is called Story of Lola, I want to say, but I'll write it down for definite in the description box below. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it's just like crazy, but still, I hope, like a minimal take on a real statement piece. Um, what made me really, really love this and I saw it online was first the colour. Um, I like how it's kind of wintry and snowy and cosy, but still very much in line with my muted colour palette, which I always wear so I knew it would fit really well into my wardrobe. And I also love the fact it was a really classic style and cut. It was almost just like the most simple, plain, classic coat you could take but just made into this huge statement by having this teddy bear fur all over it. Yeah, I love how it looks with all black. I think honestly I will mostly wear this with all black and let the outfit be all about the coat but I'm definitely quickly going to try it on now with a few different options and see if it really does fit into my wardrobe in the way that I'm expecting it to. So for the first um, way of styling it I've gone for something really really casual the kind of thing you can just throw on and um, 
I think because this coat is so thick and warm for a while, I'll be able to get away with just wearing a t-shirt underneath it. So I've gone with this long line tunic t-shirt from Monkey, which has a split up the side and yeah, another super long t-shirt. And just some indigo skinny jeans, which are from French Connection. I think I would wear this look again, probably with some trainers or some black ankle boots, but definitely kind of keep the whole thing casual and make the whole thing look effortless and just let the coat be the whole focus of the outfit really. So for the next look, I've gone with some skinny jeans again. I think that because of the size of this coat, for me, I'm always going to wear it with skinnier jeans to stop the silhouette looking too bulky really. Um, these again are the ASOS Farley jeans with the knee rips and I also have an ASOS jumper on which is a light grey and yeah so I'm going for a generally lighter colour palette to play up on the sort of silver grey of the coat. This one I think would look so cool with heels like it's so almost scruffy and I think wearing heels with it would be the perfect contrast and would really take the whole thing up a notch um, so I think I'd try to wear this with some grey heels or some nude pumps and generally keep the whole colour palette at the lighter end rather than team it with anything too dark but yeah it looks really really good like this I just know that I'm going to end up wearing this non-stop so here I've gone with something really slouchy again and um, this time with some cropped lighter denim jeans these are by a weekday I've got my monkey um, tunic top which is also new and then just a men's t-shirt from Uniqlo to do a little bit of layering and then the coat on top of it. This again, I'll definitely wear this with heels to sort of take it all up a notch and stop it from looking too baggy and slouchy but I really really like how the layering looks underneath it and I think this coat is working really really well with baggier pieces. So that's everything for me today, thank you so much for watching and it has definitely been quite a successful little ASOS order for me because I'm going to keep all four items, I just need to make my mind up about the sizing of the black skinny jeans but yeah definitely was a, a successful order and all the links for everything will be in the description box. I've shown quite a lot of clothes in this video so if they're not available anymore I will link the most similar thing that I can find for you and all the usual stuff. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you don't already and I will see you next week in my next video.